everyone voice over evelyn here i had to redo my intro because the audio was a little funny but essentially um i've been getting a lot of questions asking if i can show everything that i have in regards to diamond painting tools and if i can provide websites or links and so this is gonna be that video um so yeah make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell to get notified of new videos um and let's get started so we can start off with my storage containers. Uh, I got this one off of Amazon. I believe it was maybe about, I wanna say $12. I put these little stickers on myself just yesterday. They're so cute. Again, these stickers are from Amazon as well, um, but they turned out so cute. Uh, but yeah, so this storage system, um, you can look them up. Uh, by just typing in Tic Tac containers because they do look like Tic Tac containers but they bring 40 and I will say just as a disclaimer that when I received this storage system I found out that a few of them don't click all the way and so they're kind of you know just filling in the spaces so that all the other ones don't run around but yeah, I really like them. They hold the diamonds really well and there's a lot of space. If I'm ever working on a big painting, it's able to hold all of the colors. I might get a new system, I might not. I'm still on the fence, we'll see. But yeah, essentially, those are my storage containers. I got this little straightener in one of my diamond painting kits from Amazon. I have a little clear tray again came in one of the kits i have pens in here that again came with uh, one of the kits i will say that i have ordered so many kits from amazon and so a lot of the tools are just from the kits that i've ordered and then other stuff i've ordered separately this pen i actually got this pen from diamond art club it is so beautiful it is literally my favorite pen um I think it was about either $12 or $15, I'm not sure, but again, I'll leave the link in the description. And it came with this four placer and uh, I think this is a six placer. It came with this one as well. So they're interchangeable and then the standard metal tip. Now we got some tweezers from, again, another Diamond painting, diamond painting kit from Amazon. And then I have this little diamond. I use it to hold the plastic film when I'm diamond painting, so it'll hold it down and it won't move. So yeah, I think I got this one when I was visiting uh, Lurie Caverns in Virginia. So I don't know if you're interested in you know buying this exact one, but you know, it's from the caverns. But yeah, that's pretty much what I have immediately in my storage container. This is what I use every time that I diamond paint, and so I like to have the tools that I use all the time here. That's pretty much it. Again, I'll include websites and links in the description. But yeah, super cute. The next storage container that I have is this big old one. Uh, this storage container is actually from Target. As you can see, it has two levels and it has two clips. So in this first layer, I just have, you know, all of my extra tools. So here I have extra trays. I have some baggies. I have extra grips. And all of that came with the diamond painting kits that I've ordered from Amazon. And I also have of extra tips and there's more in there but I have a ton oh I think this one is from Diamond Art Club as well and then these clear ones are from Amazon kit and then I have a ton of extra pink wax which I don't really use honestly because I use blue tack but you know they're kind of cute so I like to keep them <laughs> and then these are from paintgem.com I ordered a few kits from them and their wax comes in these little containers, these little macaroons, and they're so cute. 
But yeah, essentially that's what's in that first layer. And you know, just something about this container, you can take the uh, sections off and you have this big empty space, so. And in the second level is where I have my bigger tools that obviously don't fit in the little sections in the first level. So I have my big trays. This blue one is from a four pack on Amazon. Uh, I can include the link to that four pack in the description, but I really love this tray. It's just, you know, something about it. It holds the diamonds really well and, you know, I like the color. And then I have these two trays from my 3D designs on Etsy. And it comes with a little stopper. Well, I ordered it, but yeah. And so these are uh, 3D printed, as you can see. They're super pretty, like I love the colors. It's just something about the fact that they are 3D printed. It kind of makes the diamonds get stuck into the little um, spaces sometimes, which makes it a little difficult. And you know, I just have, um, I've been experiencing this problem where the tip is too big for my container. So when I try to put it back, um, I literally have to take the cap off of the containers completely and then put it back and it's a whole thing. Um, so I don't use these as often just cause, you know, it's not really working with my containers, but still super cute. <laughs> and then I have my masking tape. These are, this is what I use to make my uh, labels. I have scissors. I have my trusty dusty blue tack. I have another straightener, again. From Amazon oh I got the blue tack from Walmart but I'm sure you can find it on Amazon and then my husband got me these sticky mats they're so pretty uh, these are basically used for when oh, when I have trays that I don't want for them to move around you put them on the tray and then they'll stick nice and firmly um, I will say when you want to put the diamonds back into the container after you're done, this makes it a little tricky, you know, kind of peeling the tray off and then the diamonds pop off, it's a whole thing. Uh, sometimes I'll use them when I want to hold the painting down, like I'll put the sticky mat down and then I'll put the painting on top of it and when I place the diamond, the painting won't flop up like it sometimes does. And then I have these colorful pens, which again, my husband bought for me as an early birthday gift. These are from Amazon as well. Uh, these are all just single tips, which is why sometimes I use them, sometimes I don't, because I do, I am a fan of the multi-placers and this doesn't have room for that. But they're so pretty, how can you not use them? I have my Sharpie for when I'm making my labels. Uh, this pen is from Diamond Art Club. So I think when you spend a certain amount of money, it comes included. So, my X-Acto knife. I use this to cut the little sections off of my painting. Super handy. I have some clear pens. I used to have a ton of pink pens, um, but I gave them away. So now I'm only left with these two. Which is okay, because I wasn't really using the pink pens anyways. And then I have a whole bunch of tweezers. These all came included with the different diamond painting kits that I've ordered. But yeah, that is pretty much it. Um, so let me put this all back now. But yeah guys, that's pretty much all I have. When I work on diamond paintings, I don't necessarily have a desk. I just use my kitchen table. Actually, this is everything that I use and that's why I keep them in little storage containers so that when I'm done painting, I can quickly put them away and the kitchen table will be nice and clear. But yeah, uh, let me know if you guys have any other questions. Follow me on TikTok, on Instagram. I'll put my handles in the video. Thanks guys for joining me. Bye!